All right, so we are here in the Tesla Model 3. Uh, we had a pop-up this morning. Comes up right when you get in the car that uh, we have a software update ready. Uh, so we're gonna install this right now. And it kicks off a, a two minute waiting period and then it automatically fires off the update. So I usually use this time to get out of the car. Uh, but that's basically all you need to do to uh, kick off an update. So I'll cancel this. The other way you can see if you have an update is here in the upper right corner, you've got this little clock. If you tap on that, it pulls up that same prompt. Um, you can also close this or get exit out of it by hitting the X or just tapping outside of it uh, to exit that. But like I said, we're going to, uh, to start this. So let's just uh, hit install and this Tesla software update will kick off. They normally take about 15 minutes uh, you'll hear a lot of like clunking and clocking sounds. It sounds like the car goes through some sort of a self-check process. Um, uh, as part of the update, it depends on the update and what it's doing. Um, but it's not uncommon to hear different noises um, go on and off. Uh, the interior HVAC system will go on and off, things like that, um, as the update is processing. Um, typically, they take 15 minutes, but uh, I think they say uh, you should be able to leave your car for a longer duration than that, like an hour um, for the update. So anyway, that's the software update process in the Tesla Model 3.